Hi, and welcome to Tech Tuesday on the 29th floor. I'm Noah Robichon here with Mark Wilson to talk today about home automation. And as anyone born before 1980 will know, there used to be this great way to turn your lights on and off. Clap on, clap off. A clapper, right? Like you remember that too. So who is marketing the smart home today in a way that resonates? Obviously, Nest is the leader. And one of the reasons that Nest is doing so well or that we believe in Nest is that they've done such a great job of envisioning the future of the home. Like I wanna live in every home that they have presented me with, right? Like that's where I wanna be living. I would argue, I think the smart home market is a little bit misled right now. Like I, I think they're still in that post-World War II suburban mentality, even Nest is. And all trends say that we're all moving to cities, we're all moving to super cities. And the smart home products for those types of environments are very different. I mean, you look at something more like MIT City Home, which, which pretty much puts an apartment in a box, right? That's a lot different than, than a clapper or a nest, but I think it's probably better oriented to the needs of tomorrow. So it'll be interesting to see who has success, who finds the sweet spot of marketing, and whether, like the clapper, it's actually the low end value end of the market, or it's the super high end, you know, where Nest is aiming, which is you have to have a pretty, you have to have a lot of money and a pretty fancy home to use a Nest, or at least it seems that way. I know Nest would argue that they're trying to bring the cost down and make it more accessible for everybody. But I would also add that I think the smart home technologies that over time that have succeeded, um, we don't use clappers today, right? Because ultimately, like, they weren't necessarily that useful. Uh, they uh, they were often wrong. You know, things would be turned off when you didn't want them to. But we still use garage door openers. Um, I, I think Wi-Fi. Most people don't look at that as a smart home technology, but but ultimately, I think it is uh, because look at how many people figured out how to how to build a network protocol in their house to have all of these wirelessly connected devices. I think if things are useful enough, we'll figure out like how to actually accommodate them into our lives, even if it's complicated. So we want to hear from you. Does the future of home automation look more like the clapper or is it MIT's city home? Where do you fall on the spectrum and what smart home products are actually interesting you? What have you bought and installed in your home? Let us know at Fast Company at the hashtag 29th floor. Thanks. See you next week, Mark.